remember when Joker died in Batman Arkham City? That actually is <laughs> pretty funny. <laughs> And also, last time I checked, we straight up burned his corpse in Batman Arkham Knight. Ah! Oh, yeah, um... <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that scared me a lot when I was younger. Well, we're gonna be seeing a wild comeback for the Joker, and hopefully not just some terrifying fear toxin version of him that just repeatedly jump scares you throughout Arkham Knight. Now, there's been a lot of speculation along with many fan theories of how we can see Joker making a huge comeback in the Suicide Squad game. But actually, Rocksteady's community manager, Derek Brown, which if you don't know already, Rocksteady are the developers for the game, he has dropped some fascinating news. Towards the end of a Q&A session, Brown stated, Since we just finished talking about our endgame, here's a tease for something that might come even later. And he definitely teased something big because he straight up revealed a photo that shows Harley Quinn standing in front of a Joker-themed building. There is also a still of a Daily Chuckle newspaper, a take on the Daily Planet with a similar Joker theme. And if you guys don't know already, the Daily Planet is a fictional newspaper that is known to be associated with Superman. You can learn more about it in the comics, it's actually pretty interesting. Anyways, we've been able to play Joker in the past in a third person format while shooting a gun, so I believe Rocksteady can definitely make his gameplay fun. Maybe he'll be a boss fight instead of a playable character, who knows. I mean, look at Captain Boomerang for an example. Who would have thought someone like that would be any sort of interesting or fun in the first place? But I'll tell you from what I've seen, Captain Boomerang along with every other playable character in the game is going to have some sort of speedy, traversable ability. I'm not sure how they would implement this feature for the Joker, but like I said, it's rock steady. They can make miracles happen. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, because I'm curious how you think Joker will be implemented as a main story element or even DLC. I just realized how short of a video this was. I guess that's a good thing, right? You guys can get all the information quickly. <laughs> Actually, that reminds you, make sure you stay tuned for the next Insider video on the Suicide Squad because they have been dropping some awesome news. I'm guessing their next episode will reveal some kind of roadmap or any type of pre-launch information that we haven't heard yet. If you guys hear about any big news, don't hesitate to drop a comment on any recent video here on the channel and I'll definitely respond as quick as I can and maybe I'll feature the topic in a future video. Anyways, like I said, this was news I thought was worth mentioning in a video for itself and I made it short and sweet and straight to the point for you guys. So if you're excited for the Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League game, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already and turn the little bell on to stay notified when I make a new video. And just to add in, only 0.9 of you are actually subscribed, so come on, let's, let's make it at least 1%, alright? Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.